Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module six, lesson 20. And in this lesson, we're gonna be introducing coins, pennies, nickels, dimes. And we're gonna start by just helping students recognize what is a penny, what is a nickel, what is a dime. Now, in contrast with the old pre-common core days, the, the olden days, we would just really kind of limit ourselves to just identifying the money and then counting up a bunch of coins. Here's a pile of coins. How much money do I have? Really, in common core, especially with Eureka Math, coins are still being taught, but really, they're going to be taught so that students can be practicing addition and subtraction and, and developing number sense. It's not coins for coins sake. Uh, we're going to be learning coins so that we can increase and deepen our understanding of math. So let's get started. But this lesson really begins largely with just simple identification. So the idea would be, uh, what is this? Oh, this is a penny. So here's our penny, and we're going to draw a line. And which one of these over here is also a penny? Which one of these? And of course, we want our students to recognize this one is a penny. And so what about a dime? Oh, that one's a dime. And so this guy goes partners like that. And lastly, what's this guy? Well, that guy's got to be a nickel. And then there's our connections. So uh, we're beginning very low level, D-O-K-1, depth of knowledge one which is simply recognizing and identifying the value of each of these coins. So the previous slide, we, we identified the name of those coins. Now we're going to kind of get to the value of those coins. So it says cross off some pennies so that the remaining pennies show the value of their coins, right? And so the idea is, oh, what am I going to use here? Um, I am I'm struggling. Okay, there. So we got our, our little, um, there we go. We got our little arrow here. So we got this thing, and we recognize that this is a dime, and it says, well, how much is a dime worth? Well, we know that a dime is worth uh, 10 pennies. So it says cross off some pennies so that the remaining pennies show the value of the coin to their left. So that's a dime, and we need 10 pennies. So we can say, well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So those are the pennies we need to keep. And they say, cross off the pennies that we don't need. So there we go. I've crossed off two pennies because I need ten. In a similar fashion, here's a nickel. What's a nickel worth? Well, a nickel is worth five pennies. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And so we need to cross off everything else. So if we cross off everything else, go away, all of these go away. And there's our answer. We're left with just five simple little pennies for that nickel. So now we're getting to some problem solving. And I, the thing I love about Eureka Math is that it, it introduces problem solving constantly, not just at the the word problems at the end of the chapter or something. It really is always uh, developing in our students uh, problem solving. So Maria has five cents in her pocket. Draw, draw coins to show two different ways that she could have five cents. Well, what are two different ways? Well, one way is she could have five pennies. One penny, two, three, four, five. So that's one way. And another way she could have five cents in her pocket is she could just have a nickel, huh? Now, parents and teachers, this is a great opportunity rather than drawing like I just did. Go ahead and give your students some realia. Maybe even go in and cash in a couple of bucks and get a bunch of pennies and a couple of bucks and get a bunch of nickels and let your students play at their desks with this kind of stuff. Like, find all the different ways you can make eight cents. So you could say, all right, our goal, eight cents. Find, oops, one, one line there, eight cents. Find all the different ways you can make eight cents. And one way would be, well, you can use eight pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But another way to make eight pennies, eight cents, 
is to use a nickel and three pennies. There's a lot of things. I mean, just let your students kind of explore with this kind of problem-solving approach. It, it, re it refreshes their memory on how to add, and it deepens their understanding of of what is, you know, coin recognition and the value of those coins. And the last slide for this video, it says solve, draw a line to match the number sentence with the coin or coins that give the answer. So here we've got 10 cents plus 10 cents. Now this is what I was talking about in that Eureka math especially, but Common Core in general. When we talk about coins, it's not for coins sake. We're talking about coins because we're really going to be uh, deepening our understanding of addition or subtraction or multiplication or division. And this is a perfect example. 10 cents plus 10 cents is 20 cents. A little bit of a hint. You know, this the book is called A Story of Units. And so it's because in this case, our units are cents. 10 cents, 10 cents, 20 cents. A little bit of a sneak preview as to things to come for the next five years of Eureka Math in your kiddo's life. So now we have to connect 20 cents to one of these over here. And we see that 20 cents is the same as two dimes. Now here, 10 cents take away five cents. Well, that means we're going to be left with just five cents, which goes right here. And you get the idea taking our coins, doing a little math, or taking the money, doing a little bit of math, and matching it to a coin value over here. And that wraps up a classic talking about coins with our first graders. First grade, module six, lesson 20. We've began by identifying pennies, nickels, and dimes by their image. But then we also talked about their name. We talked about their value. We even did a little bit of math with them. And by the way, please consider subscribing to my channel.